What's up everyone? Finally got a Harley video going on again. Um, I've got my 2013 Electric Glide Classic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to install a amp and speakers in it. So, let's get to it. Alright, first things first. You got to get this front fairing off. If you have a street glide, electric glide, whatever you got, there's three screws, the one with the bird poop on it. Oh, wait, no, it's over here, right there. Um, center one, and that one. And then, you got this one, and there's one inside, One inside the fork, right where my finger is pointing. It's hard to see, but it's in there. Uh, once you remove those, and it's the exact same on that side. Once you remove all those screws, you'll lift up, pull your fairing off. Then you'll have to unplug your headlight. Um, a wire will extend out, and then you can just pull the plug off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and get right back to you. And I forgot to tell you, before you start taking your fairing off, which I already did, cover your fender because you'll drop something, you'll damage that fender, and Harley paint is not cheap. All right, let's get to uh, putting the amp on. Um, you're going to be mounting your amp on top of your radio. Um, how we do it is by putting Velcro on strip here and strip here, and then where's the amp at? It's over there. Alrighty, so I've got this Rockford, it's a PBR X, uh, PBR X4, it's a four channel amp, uh, oh, PBR 300 X4 is what it is, um, I took it off my old bike, and we put the Velcro across the bottom, and, uh, got a couple strips that we put on the, uh, radio there, so we'll get those Velcro strips on top of the Radio won't quite mount the amp yet. Adam's going to do the wiring part. He's my stereo guy. All right. This this might look difficult, might look kind of hard, but it's not. It's actually fairly simple and fairly direct. These are your speaker wires. You're just going to give them a little, you know, pull them off. That's all they do. They just pull off. So you can just pull both these off. And then you're going to say, hey, Blake, take that speaker off. Oh, okay. And then you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to pull these off. And then you're going to say, hey, Blake, take that speaker off. Okay, and then how we're going to wire this up is because these come from the radio. These are going to go to the in side uh, of the radio. And then the speakers are going to be the out. So going in and then out. And these... All we're going to do is, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut these little ends off and then I'm going to put new crimp ends on and that's it. For the power wire, it will get run down in this frame and you can follow either one of these little harnesses uh, and then you'll run it back. You will have to take your gas tank off. That's the, that is the more challenging part and then you have to take your seat off because there's underneath the tank there's a black valley and we will show you that when the tank comes off i'll show you how to take the tank off too i'm just kind of giving everybody a run through and then uh, uh this is your cigarette lighter on here and this is the power wire so the this wire only has power on it when the key is on so right here is where you're going to clip in for the remote wire to turn the amp on and then let me show you everything over here. Why Blake's going to take some stuff off. This is going to be your little piece for your remote wire. You can hook one side to the uh, motorcycle for the cigarette plug. And then one little wire is going to come out and go right here to where it says remote. Ground. We're going to try it. We're going to, uh, I'm going to ground it to the frame and see if that works. I believe on my bike, I ran another ground all the way back to the battery because I believe I had a, a little bit of a hiccup. And then 
B plus is battery positive. So all you really need for this kit is your speakers. You're going to need these adapters. Uh, ARC audio. You can get these at basically any stereo shop or uh, I believe you can get them on Amazon too. You're going to need butt connectors. Uh, we are probably going to go, we're going to go from the battery to the amp with 10, 10 gauge wire, which is the biggest that this will be able to take. And then we may not use any of this. Uh, and we might just use a little itty bitty piece for this for the uh, ground. Actually, we'll probably use this for the remote. Sorry, we will use some of this for the remote. I like to use the, the black wire because the black wire, when you're coming down underneath here, well, you can't see it. Let me come to the side. If you come down through here to go inside this, this and there's plenty of room, it's still going to be near impossible. So what I did on my bike and my friend's last bike, actually, I think I've got red on mine and I... Should have not put red, but when you do red, if it sticks out, you're going to see red. But black, you won't see that. Somebody walking by your bike is not going to see a red wire kind of hanging out. So black's going to hide everything. And then you're going to use a little bit of speaker wire, your crimpers, your cutters, well, cutters and crimpers, and then your little strippers to clean your wires up. But a little bit of speaker wire from the amp to the new speakers. So... Blake, where are you at? All right, since Blake got a speaker out, uh, we're going, I'm just going to show you this. Here's the factory speaker. When you pull that little grill off with the little magnet, made in China, if you didn't know that. And then here's the Rockford speaker. And then here's the magnet for the Rockford speaker. So, yeah, 70 watts RSM, 40 watts peak at 4 ohms. So, you can see the size difference. Alright, if you don't know how to operate a drill gun, Blake is going to show you how to operate a drill gun. Anyways, uh, the only thing I wanted to add in was uh, every screw on this is T25 Torx. So, you got these four screws, or actually it's only three, three. screws, there's not one over here. So those three screws, and then once you get that undone, the speaker will come off. Let me get this short one out so Adam can show you something. And pull one of the top ones real quick, too. Okay, because the, the factory's got this giant spacer here, and the spacer is not, it's because there's, it, the screws go in here, they're inset, so they're going to be really tiny, so let me, on the new brackets that you, you're going to have to pick up in order. Uh, we went and bought these screws right here, and unfortunately, uh, you can't, we had to get Phillips, you couldn't find Torx. We wanted Torx, because we prefer them. Uh, this was the cl closest size we could find, so it's, it is a hair longer, uh -oh, he's but the, the head is, the head is the same length, or uh, same diameter, so it does fit down in a hole. So if, on the shorter one, save this screw, and then use it, and then use these in the other two spots. Plus, you will use these for the uh, the mount the speaker. But this is what comes out of the top, so that would literally stick through the fairing, the inner fairing. So these become garbage, and then just pick yourself up. Basically, basically fourteen of those. If you're like me and Blake, you you're probably gonna drop one and lose it. So always grab some extras. Just use this on the bottom, and those for everything else. And then this, this speaker grate, it's just held on with uh, like three or four sections of uh, double sticky tape. Would you come over here under the light? So you see, see there's a little bit of sticky tape. So you can just peel that off, and then the felt side will go out, and this ended inside goes in, and then you obviously don't need this anymore because you have the new ring. 
I'll find links for everything and get it in the description. Yes, there is. I believe these are pretty this exact brand on Amazon. I believe it's forty bucks or actually a little less. But you're gonna put your your Torx down here, your two Phillips up here. This uh, bracket. We're gonna. It's, you, gonna, it's gonna just screw into the plastic. Oh, the speaker will sit here. The bracket will go over here. the speaker, and then we'll put a yeah. screw into it. Yeah, because this bracket you pull back just a little bit, and you can slip the speaker in between it. But you need to keep that felt on, or you're just gonna have two speakers sitting out there. If you've bought Marina quality speakers or grade speakers. You probably can do that, just if you want to look at your speakers, but... I don't know what size Harley stock speakers are, but we're going to a six and a half. Yeah, six and a half, and I... I, I thought this said on here, but it does not. These don't say. Maybe five and a half, six and a half, I don't know. So, anyways, we are going to put the next speaker on, or we're going to put the next bracket on, and then we're going to do the speaker. Actually, we'll probably do the speaker right now and just show you that one because this side is the same as this side. Okay. After you get that in, here's the bracket just to show you that we did put the bracket back in place. Keeps this rigid. Keeps the hole interfering a little more rigid. We got four screws in. One thing you want to do, everybody knows your Harley shakes. So give it a little twist. If you hear nothing, you know everything's fastened down the way it is. We'll get that other one in and we'll show you how to wire up the amp. Yep. Make sure you use some like glass cleaner or something and put it on your, you know, spray it on your paper towel, clean the surface up real good so your uh, Velcro will stick. You can do what you want, but it comes with these plugs. You gotta get rid of them um, in order to wire them to your amp. So uh, we're gonna cut them off if you want, you can put the mail ends on an extra line or something and run wire over, but we just connect it and... What I always do is I always cut it off as absolutely close to that plug as you can so I have as much wire as I've got. Yeah. You can always put new ones on later if you decide to get rid of it and keep your stereo like I did. Because if, if you don't know, these are coming out of the radio. So on this amp, this is, this is your uh, input. So, left, right, you're just going to, this is basically just left and right, left and right, is what this amounts to. So, those wires are going to go, the wires over right here side, are right, going to oh, go. Right side, left side. Okay, yeah, so, wherever the speaker right, right there, those wires are going to connect here, and these wires are going to connect here. here. Uh, I believe... There's some excess wire. If I back it up through, I think I can run it back like this, and then I can hook it up, and then it just sets in like right back here or right here. It doesn't affect anything. So, but I don't need to add extension to it. We'll, we'll get these connected, and then we'll show you hooking these wires to the uh, speakers. Okay, so Adam got the wires hooked up, so the speakers are all hooked up and everything. Well, they're not plugged in, but they're there. Okay, yeah. We still got to plug them into the speaker. He's got connectors on there. They'll just connect to the bottom of the speaker on both sides. Um, next, before we hook in the power, ground, and remote, uh, we got to come back here, take the seat off. All you have to do to take the seat off is... Screw. There's a Phillips screw. Oh, anyways, there's a Phillips screw that I can see, but I can't get the camera back there to show you. If he had a cool bike like mine, his trunk would detach. Yeah, mine don't come off. <laughs> anyways, there's a screw right behind here. Take a Phillips screwdriver, takes a bigger Phillips, and then the seat will come right off. And then we'll get to the tank. Okay, so these, we've got the seat off if you can see. That's where the back bolt was holding the seat on. And now, all we're gonna do is undo those uh, two bolts here. There's black caps down there. You pull those caps off. And then these screws right there, I've already taken them off. We gotta lift the tank up so that we can get the uh, power and ground through here. I think he's gonna try to ground it up front on the frame or something. 
and bring the power wire back to the battery. All right, here's how you disconnect the uh, fuel line. We're gonna have to take the tank off. Yeah, because I want to run this. We ran it underneath, but I don't like how it's sitting on top of this box. I want it to go through this box. So you kind of push up a little bit, and then you take this, and you just push up, and then you take your other hand, and you just weasel it down. Simple as that. And as soon as it drops, this is all the fuel I get on there, on my hand. Just There's a probably bit. a half tank of fuel in there, so. Okay, just to show everybody, because Blake is currently holding the tank, because we're not we're not going to undo all these cables. Uh, if you have like a little stick, you can just prop it, but it's not very heavy, even with probably a half tank. This piece just sits on here, and you got all these. Let me turn the camera correctly. You got all these little tabs, and you just take your fingers under it and pry both sides, and you just keep pulling up. And working it down so it's tabs there's a handful of little tabs everywhere there's a, like a little notch there's a tab on this you just pull that off take your your wire and you're gonna run it into here okay so obviously it's gonna take a couple guys make sure you got some little microfiber towels under everything but when you bring this cable back Put it, just put it in this little channel and run it all the way down and then the next part is part is to take uh, I believe this is the ECM the computer for the whole bike all right Adam's gonna pull the ECM, ECM out two tabs here pull pick it up and it just comes out from underneath this tag grab you a towel little towel set it down here and then this plug you just you to pull back and then just set it off to the side right here. And then you're gonna take these two bolts out. This cover comes off and then the whole top of the battery is better. Okay, so got the power run wire running back there, connected to the battery. Got the ground wire. What we did was, oh, where's it coming from? Right here, it's running up here, this bracket right here. Just put a self-tapping screw into this bracket right here. For your remote wire right here, just tap into the positive wire for your cigarette lighter. Yeah, these little clamps, they come in nice because you just slide it over your, your solid wire without having to cut it. Then you insert the one wire in there and then you clamp it down with some pliers, clip the little plastic cover over it, good to go. And that's just on the cigarette lighter, so. It's all hooked up. I can only do this for a brief second. Got some music, not my style, but there's music playing. Now just put it back together how you took it apart and you got yourself a stereo. All right, everybody. We're not gonna put the cover back on but uh, just reverse order everything. Uh, if you do have issues putting the cover back on, there's we have a bunch of other videos for that. Um, but this is how you put an amp on a 2013 Street Glide. Well, Ultra Classic. Sorry. And speakers. And speakers. I forgot we did do speakers. But uh, also I will have links for everything I've got on the bike in the description below. Um, amp the the speaker rings speakers tools tools yeah so uh, yeah actually so yeah if you haven't like comment subscribe we'll see you guys next time bye